So yesterday we talked about how the Yankees have improved themselves over a 100-win season last year, but we don't want to make it all unicorns and rainbows. There are some things that can go wrong, and we've come up with a list of them. Okay. And there's not that you many. You have. Yeah, there's not that many. No. Well, I got a couple, though. I wonder if we match. You want to go first? Yeah, because I think you're yeah. more educated on Much this than more. I am. Yeah. Um, I, I'm curious to see what Severino's going to be. That second half was a little disturbing. He's supposed to be, as you put it, the fifth or sixth best pitcher in baseball. They're a different team if he's going to continue to be a problem. He's supposed to be your ace. Mm -hmm. So aren't you kind of curious to see if he's... He, he said all the right things when we talked to him on Friday, how he's not tipping his pitches anymore. He's worked on it. But he was... There were times he was flat out not good in the second half of the year. In a rotation that I think needs a little bit more depth, I mean, you have CeCe. How many innings is CeCe going to give you at five? You know, can you afford to have, you know, Seve be a problem? So that's, that's one that jumps to mind. Was, did, was that on your list? You know, that was not on my initial list, but now I will put it on the list because it's a legitimate point by you. You think so? Yeah. Well, I feel good about that then. Good thing I went uh, first. Who else do you have? Well... I, I always think Tanaka's health is out there, right? I mean, this elbow is eventually going to go, right? Yeah. At some point, it hasn't, but is it, is it ever, it didn't heal itself, so could, it, could at some point that go? Because these are your top two pitchers, right? I mean, much as Paxton was a great acquisition, I still look at Severino and Tanaka as your one and two. We'll see what Paxton does, and if he gives you innings, that's the, that's the question is, he's never given you 200 innings in no, Seattle. No, he's never qualified so, for an ERA title. So that, That's 162 innings, I think. So that would probably be uh, number number two on my list. The number three would be first base. Was Voigt just a flash in the pan? Is is Bird cooked? Is is he the Bird the, cooked? I like. Is it. he is he the Kevin Moss of this generation? Where he just he ha he showed flashes but never worked out? Because then you then you gotta have a hole at first base, right? Here are my concerns with the Yankees. I would say first base. Because you just don't know what is Voight who he was. If he was, well, that's, I mean, you've uncovered then Bird's a diamond. in trouble. Even if Bird plays well, he's right. in trouble. Uh, sh the whole left side of the infield, to me, is somewhat question questionable. What is Troy Tulowitzki? Do we have any idea? I think the, the stat is he's played, what, 100-some-odd games in the last four years? It's, a, it's amazing how much he's been injured. He said surgery on both heels, which is what so is yeah. coming back. Now, Andujar might be one of the best pure hitters, contact hitters in the Yankee lineup. But what is he at third base? Is he going to get better? Is he going to be a liability? So that's a concern of mine. Another concern of mine is the depth of the pitching. Because you've got five pitchers I think all do a good job. Now, yesterday, Aaron Boone announced that CC wouldn't even start throwing until the beginning of March. So he's going to miss the beginning of spring training. He's also suspended for the first five games, if you remember, because he hit that... Um, hit that batter, cost himself the bonus, right? Right, yeah. He got suspended for five games, so he's going to miss the first time around. But that, you, you, but sometimes fifth starters miss the first right. time around anyway. So it works out perfectly, so mm -hmm. they don't have to rush him to get ready for opening day. Uh, but if any of their starters go down, who's up next? That worries me. They have guys. Jonathan Loisa, yeah, but Louis Sessa. I mean, you, do you go deeper into the uh, into the system and say Albert Abreu, who people don't think is quite ready right now, but probably has the best stuff of anybody down. So are they going to go out and get another pitcher that could just slide right in? Those are some of the concerns for me. Well, but I think, for the most part, this is a rock-solid team. Yeah, it depends on who gets hurt, too. Like, if you're telling me Loisica is going to make a start for CeCe, not a big deal. If right. he's making one for, for Severino or for Tanaka or Paxton, that's a different story, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't want to go, I don't go around... The order three, four times where Loisica is a guy that's replacing one of the aces of the staff. Because it's going to go it, whatever order it's going to be, right? Severino, Tanaka, Paxton, and then who am I forgetting in CC? Hap, baby. See, that's right, CJ Hap. I can, live with, I can live with one of those pitchers pitching for J Hap or CC. One of the top three guys. And more specifically, why, why has Paxton had a problem giving, giving innings in Seattle?